Hey y'all, this is Juliana. I'm out at the community garden where I've noticed one of our beautiful native plants blooming. In addition to being beautiful, our native plants can tell us a lot about the environs that they are growing and blooming in. For example, the bloom time of plants can tell us about the types of pollinators that are present and active during that time period. This is because the primary purpose of flowers is to lure in and attract specific pollinators who can help ensure that the plant successfully diversifies its genes for its offspring. Different colors, shapes, and orientations of flowers attract different types of pollinators. And right now we have a lot of red tubular flowers blooming. Take a walk around outside and you'll see the red tubular flowers of the cross vine, which began blooming in full force at the end of February. Not long after the cross vine flowers began appearing, the red buckeye's own red tubular flowers began to bloom. And in recent days, we've noticed the manic spray of coral colored tubular flowers adorning the coral honeysuckle vine, like what you can see next to me. All three of these plants boast similarly colored and shaped flowers, and each plant holds its flowers in such a way that it faces out away from the rest of the plant, giving pollinators ample room to sup nectar on the wing. So this begs the question, who are the coral honeysuckle, the cross vine, and the red buckeye trying to attract? And the answer is, they are luring in one of our largest pollinators and one of our smallest birds, the ruby-throated hummingbird. Seeing the red tubular flowers of these three plants should clue in to the observant naturalist that it's time to put out our hummingbird feeders.